Hey Glucose Junkies, it's Freely the Banana Girl here. Today is day 29 of my 30 videos in 30 days. And today's topic is how to gain weight on a raw food diet. This is one that a lot of males out there ask me about and not so many females because most females want to get smaller, not bigger. And I thought it was time to address it. So I want you to know that when you come to a raw food diet as a guy, as a girl, a lot of time you will lose water weight and you'll also lose fat. Okay, so the water, when you decrease the amount of sodium in your diet, you'll lose water weight. And also when you decrease the amount of fat in your diet, you lose fat. So you're going to lose that fat and fluid and it's going to make you appear smaller. And a lot of guys are like, oh my god, I'm losing muscle. This diet is eating away my muscle. No, 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 it's not eating away your muscle. Okay, if you're continuing to eat enough calories, and do resistance training, then you're not going to decrease, you know, your muscles aren't going to atrophy. But if you're not, then maybe they will, but that's not the diet's fault. So just remember, if you want to get out that stuff, you know, that excess fluid and fat, you're detoxing the toxicity. So celebrate. And something I want to ask you is, like, do you want to lose, you know, do you want to gain fat? Do you want to gain fluid? Or do you want to gain muscle? If you're anything like me, you want metabolically active tissue like muscle. But some people, I don't know. So if you want to gain fat, then increase the amount of fat in your diet. So decrease the amount of carbohydrates and increase the amount of oil and nuts and avocado. And you will eventually see an increase in the amount of fat on your body. But who wants that? Who wants that excess fat? If you want to increase the amount of water weight on your body so you look puffier, then increase the amount of sodium. Salt retains approximately a hundred times its own weight in water. So if you increase the amount of sodium, you're going to see it on your body in the form of water weight. So it's going to be kind of, you know, floppy and fluidy. If you want that sort of look, increase the amount of sodium in your diet. But if you want muscle tissue like me, then definitely, definitely get into heavy weights. Back in 2006, when I found this lifestyle and I was sort of experimenting with it, I gained approximately 3.9 kilos of pure muscle in around five months. And I have interim DEXA scans to prove that. The thing that I was doing in particular was lifting heavy. I wasn't, as, I wasn't afraid to get uncomfortable. I was comfortable with getting uncomfortable. So you have to really, really push it if you want quality muscle tissue laid down. You can't muck around. You can't be just a little, oh, I don't want to hurt too much. you got to hurt. you got to enjoy it and embrace it. Okay, no complaining. If you want muscle, then embrace the pain. As Arnie says, the last two reps should be like an out-of-body experience. They should be. You should be fully hurting for those last few repetitions. That's the important thing. I recommend between four to six rep maximum. You know, if you're wanting to get some, you know, quality gains in a short amount of time, four to six reps maximum, no heavier. So you're fatiguing at around four to six reps. And some days do one rep maximum, one repetition maximum. So you're you're totally gone after just one repetition. That's the only, like, that's the heaviest you can lift of that weight. So one rep. And when it comes to weights, you've got to be consistent, you've got to be regular, but you also need to rest, okay? You need to get in that rest period, you need to get enough sleep. So sleep is the next one, is so important. If you want that optimal human growth hormone release, then make sure you're getting to bed on time, you're not getting to bed after midnight, you know, 2, 3 a.m. in the morning. If you are, you're not going to get as much muscle gain because... Rest is when your muscles are repairing and actually building. So you need to be, you need to have that shut eye so you're getting that maximum recovery. And the next one is calories. You have to get enough calories. Yes, your protein, you do you know, actually need more protein when you're doing this intense exercise. But the thing is, when you, you need more of everything, all the nutrients, when you increase the amount of calories in your diet, which you have to when you do this weight training to support muscle growth, then you get more protein by default. So don't increase the percentage of protein in your diet. Keep it 10% or less, but just increase the amount of calories and you will be fine. You will be taking care of your protein needs. 
And last one really is water. You know, 75% or more of your body is made up of water. So you need to keep the water coming in if you want to really have healthy, hydrated muscles. So 8 to 12 times peeing clear, making sure you're drinking enough water to pee clear every day. So they're the things. So we've got heavy weights, you know, fatiguing at quite heavy weight, like low reps, heavy weight. Eat enough calories every single day, being consistent, getting enough sleep, getting to bed on time, drinking enough water, and enjoy your routine. Like do a routine that you actually enjoy because muscle building takes time. It doesn't happen overnight. You have to work for it and you have to work hard. So just prepare yourself for that. But it is worth it. It's awesome feeling to have this extra muscle in your body, this metabolically active tissue which burns fat all day long even, though, even when you're sleeping. So it's pretty awesome. And so that's my message for today. If you found it helpful, give us a thumbs up and I'm just going to wrap this up quickly. I hope I see you tomorrow for day 30. It's going to be exciting. Alright, see you then. Don't forget to go fruit or root yourself. Bye. Bye. Girl.